Power notes are a highly structured means of documentation. The Navigator pane on the left offers a summary of the notes content with check marks indicating sections with documentation. We're currently viewing the preoperative information paragraph of the pre-anesthesia evaluation. This paragraph has two sentences, anesthesia pre-op info and anesthesia history. Paragraph structure is currently displayed, meaning items available for selection are shown. Clicking hide structure limits the display to only selected items. Much of a PowerNotes content can auto-populate depending on the notes configuration and what has already been documented. For anything that remains, click it to get started. A single click indicates a positive selection and the text will appear green and outlined. If you need to document an option not shown, click Other and add free text. Clicking twice indicates a negative selection. The text will appear green crossed by a diagonal red line. Click again to clear your selection. Not all options will display by default. For example, the ENMT sentence of the Review of Systems shows the most common items. Note the two greater than symbols next to ENMT. Clicking them expands the sentence to show all options. If this enhanced level of specificity isn't needed, click the less than symbols to return to the collapse view. Free text is another option. To add information without using the predefined structure, click Use Free Text, then type or dictate as needed. Some elements of a note are required. To skip to required elements, click one of the buttons next to the word required near the top. Items that must be addressed are identified by a red asterisk. In this case, the ASA classification must be recorded. While that item is the only one that must be addressed to sign the note, many others should be completed to conform to practice standards and promote meaningful documentation. Notes don't have to be completed in one sitting. To save a note to complete later, click Save or Save and Close in the lower right, then click OK. Your save note can be found in the documentation section. To continue working on it, double-click to open. Details that auto-populated when you created the note were current at the time you originally generated it. You can update these details at any time by clicking Edit and selecting Auto-Populate. The Auto-Populate window appears and you can incorporate new data as needed. When you're finished with your note, click Sign Submit in the lower right. The note's type and title display for confirmation, and you can request an endorsement if needed. To finish, click Sign. Completed notes are stored in the documentation section.